let's go ahead and choose a targeting here. Uh, let's go ahead and target network marketing here. As I said, I wanted to target network marketing. Let's also choose multi-level marketing. And let's do one more, one more. Network Marketing Pro. Uh, Alright, so let's just leave it at that. And then let's go ahead and scroll down. And I'll leave it at $5 here. I usually leave it at $5. $5 per ad per day. And then scroll down, continue. You have an option here to create either a new ad or use existing posts. So since I just created that post that you just saw, you know, before that, I will use um, a page. I will choose my post right here. So here's my post, you know, this is how my ad is going to look. And um, obviously I will track conversions with my pixel. And regarding pixels, if this is your first time using it, you know, obviously it's better to track, to track your conversions with your pixel. If you don't have a per pixel yet or for whatever reason you have created it, you can choose this option for now, but you will need to go ahead and create your pixel. It's always best to track your, you know, your results, uh, your performance with your Facebook pixel. Let's go ahead and just place order. So your order has been placed. And it's in review. Let's sit. Let's click continue. Once you get a hang of it, once you know you create a ton of ads in a small amount of time, you know, to test out different ads because when you learn about this whole Facebook ad game, you will know exactly how to increase your engagement with your conversion and how to check your performance, you know, how each ad performs. One thing I wanted to show you real quick, um, let's choose, for example, um, uh, uh, this, and I will show you how I'm able to uh, make an ad perform better. So let's choose this one. So when we look at here, when we look at demographics, we can actually make, um, um, look who's clicking on this ad, who's liking this ad, and all the demographics, you know, who like this ad and who engage in this ad. So as we can see, there's only about 20% um, of men and about 72% of women who are engaged in this ad. So it's going to be always different with every single ad. Sometimes I have, you know, men engaging more. And so what I can do is to make the performance better. What I can do is I, I know that ages uh, 35 to 65 in women are more likely to engage in the ad. So what I can do is to keep this ad and target only um, uh, 35 to 65 only women. And that way it can actually convert better. It's going to lower my cost. It's going to make, make much more post engagement and much more link clicks. Um, for my ad. So once you have some, um, you know, some um, data right here, you can actually go in here and see exactly, uh, see who's interested in your ad um, and how you can actually look at the ad and make it perform, make a new ad and, you know, and it will, will perform much better. So yeah, just a quick thing for you here. And that's it. Thank you for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You got a lot of value. So go, go ahead and create your story and go ahead and set up your first ad if that's your first ad. And um, one thing I wanted to also add is 
when you are setting up your ads set up a lot of ads set up at least five or six to ten ads because like per one time because if you just set up one ad and you wait for like a day or two until it actually shows up you know shows up here and see how it's performing and then what if it's like a dollar or something or two dollars per post engagement or website click and you don't like how it's performing you're going to get upset and you're going to get overwhelmed um, and just saying to yourself like why did I waste so much time and money up for this ad and it's not even performing I have to turn it off but when you have a lot of ads right away um, you will see which ones are actually performing better than the others so you will have a choice of which ones to um, to leave it on and which ones you want to turn off and that way you'll be able to turn off the ad or you know make just go see the demographics duplicate them and make them perform better for specific ads that are not performing well enough and just keep creating new ads all the time keep testing keep tweaking different things in the ad and you will um, find yeah, a really good converting ad just gotta test tweak and work on it don't get upset you know it's just in case some ads don't work out for you um, just keep crushing it keep doing it keep testing it all the time and you will get there I believe in you a hundred percent okay bye bye